Hey YouTube, Travis here. This is an update on the Lenovo S10. I've gotten actually quite fed up with the super talent solid state hard drive that's in here. I'm just idling right now using a really slimmed down version of Windows XP, but that little hard drive indicator light right there is usually on all the time. Whenever I'm on YouTube, other websites have more than one window open, starting up. Um, solid state drives are good, but this one from Super Talent is total crap. Conveniently, I want to check this out. In this box here, I have a 250 gig hard drive from Western Digital. This is a recertified unit in New Egg as of today, December 4th. It's currently selling these at 27 bucks for a 250 gig SATA drive for a laptop. That's awesome. We're going to see how easy it is to swap this in. All right. Okay, so the first thing I did was I backed up all my data onto this external hard drive. Now I take the laptop, flip it over, remove the battery of these two tabs. Next, Lenovo has what they call a uh, upgrade panel, which is this guy right here. There's two screws here. We'll undo these. And here we go. This is why it's really awesome to buy stuff off eBay, because you have no idea what people do to stuff. This is supposed to have a nice hard drive bracket around it, but instead, I mean, it's a solid state, so if it moves around, it's not a big deal, but my new hard drive will need the bracket. They put this crappy piece of foam here uh, for some reason. This is the solid state drive that was in here from Super Talent. And we will pull this out. Wow, this is so light. Like, this is less than an ounce. This has all your data on it. Compare that to this guy, which is a bit heavier, but, you know, it's a spinning magnetic disc. Oh, man, I'm kind of upset I don't have this bracket. I'm going to order a bracket for this guy, sit in the bracket, and go in here. The bracket has two screws on each side, and then it just drops back in here. You put the panel on top, you put the two screws in, and you're set to go. All right, well, I hope that helped. I'm going to use this external CD-ROM here to reinstall Windows XP on it. I've got a little sticker over the numbers there because that's, you know, my personal product ID. This is my first boot up real quick. After installing the new hard drive, I went ahead and reused that piece of foam. I put my Windows XP CD in, and it looks like the normal Windows XP installation is starting up. Awesome.